What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Eugene. If you're new here, my name is Eugene. Glad to have you. Please subscribe so you can become part of my beautiful family here on YouTube. Guys, I'm gonna be washing my hair in this video, okay? I'm gonna be trying the new products that Lush launched. So they launched five new hair care products. One liquid shampoo for hair growth and one liquid conditioner. Three solid shampoo bars. And today I'll be trying the liquid shampoo Wasabi Shan Kui and also the Can You Rain Conditioner. I will not be washing the conditioner out of my hair. I'll just keep it in as a leave-in and then use my styling products on top of that. And if you are interested, and excited on seeing how the products even work on type 4 hair. I'm super excited, so let's get into the video. So I'm gonna be using the Wasabi Shantui Shampoo, Candy Rain Conditioner, R&B Hair Moisturizer, and the Curl Power Curl Putting. Now I'm gonna section my hair in four sections and then start washing and conditioning my hair. Before I started recording this video, I just removed my twists so my hair is already finger detangled and I have coconut oil and not having it by on Jackie's in my hair So I went ahead and got my hair wet and now I'm applying the shampoo and now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about the ingredients in the shampoo. So one of the first ingredients is actually wasabi decoction and it's super stimulating. It stimulates circulation in the scalp so it promotes hair growth and there's also a lot of fair trade olive oil that's sourced by the women-led cooperative Sindiana in Israel and uh, it Olive oil basically prevents breakage because it brings back elasticity to the hair. So sea salt gives your hair shine but also cleanses it without absorbing too much oil out of the hair. And it also um, volumizes the hair. And there's also some horseradish that deeply cleanses the hair. And it's rich in vitamins and stimulants. There's some menthol crystals. So the funny thing is that the shampoo smells a little weird at first, like you know wasabi. But when you mix it with water and um, the menthol crystals start to melt, it smells so nice and fresh. Another funny thing about the scent, it smells like la misol. And there's of course some chlorophyll, which is why it's so green. And that's basically what makes um, plants green. It also uh, has some other great effects for the hair. It balances the sebum production in the scalp. So your scalp is not going to produce too many oils or too little. So I washed all the shampoo out of my hair and now I'm going to condition with the candy rain conditioner. It smells so amazing. It smells just like my black label perfume from Lush, staying alive and oh my gosh. I'm so happy I get to have a hair product with this scent. Anyways guys, let me tell you a little bit about the ingredients that are in the candy rain conditioner. The first ingredient is cashew cream. It conditions and protects the hair. There's basil nut milk that softens and moisturizes the hair. Coconut cream soothes the scalp and conditions the hair. Macadamia nut milk moisturizes and contains 70% oil that coats the hair and adds shine. Ethyl macadamia is an alternative to silicones. It protects the hair against heat and humidity threads. There's extra virgin coconut oil that softens and protects the hair. Macadamia oil protects the hair and also improves shine. So if you have um, dull hair like mine, this is amazing. There's basil nut oil that moisturizes and protects the hair and gives your hair um, a glow. And it's easily absorbed because it's a thin oil. And there's rainwater that softens the hair and it helps the cuticles lay flat. So you'll naturally have more shine. There's coconut absolute that's healing, protecting and softening for the hair. This is all the shedding I've had. I haven't washed the conditioner out of my hair at all and I'm not planning on doing so because this um, conditioner has so many repairing and restorative and just, you know, protective ingredients. So I don't want to wash it out of my hair. The r and and it has a lot of olive oil in there and that's basically gonna um, 
fix the elasticity of my hair. Put some RB all over my hair. And the next product I'm gonna use, I'm actually gonna twist up my hair. So this is the curl power, curl putting, and the first ingredient is flaxseed gel, which basically is gonna define the hair and give it some hold. There's also some molasses that is basically a humectant and brightens the hair. So the molasses is gonna help us retain moisture in our hair, which we want. There's uh, silken tofu that makes the hair super smooth. And there's hydrolyzed wheat gluten that basically um, temporarily protects the hair and repairs each hair strand. Um, it basically attracts the keratin in the hair. There's also some aquafaba that protects the hair and thickens the hair. And as I said earlier, it's uh, chickpea water. There's also a lot of soya lecithin that is super softening and conditioning for the hair. It's this fatty substance that occurs in uh, soybeans. And uh, a lot of fair trade organic cocoa butter for moisture and extra virgin uh, coconut oil for protein. So yeah, I really, really, really love this product and I hope Lush brings it out once again. And now I'm going to speed you guys through the process of me twisting all my hair up. I used about half a pot of curl power and I'm gonna get some RMB and rub it all over my hair to seal in the moisture. Just wanna wear this hairstyle for about two days and then just let my hair drink up all this goodness. So it's been about two days, my hair has completely soaked up all the product and uh, now I'm gonna grab some curl power and rub it on my hands and then unravel the twist gently so I don't cause too much friction because that will cause a lot of frizz. We don't want that but I don't really mind frizz, my hair has always been frizzy but we want to keep these as intact as possible. And now I'm gently gonna separate the curls so I could get some volume but also keep some definition in my hair and uh, as you can see my hair is kind of frizzing up a little bit I always have this problem which is why I don't mind the frizz as much
Okay, guys, so this is how my twist out turned out. I'm still trying to shape it, but yeah. My hair smells so good. Here's a close up of my curls. I love it, guys. They feel so soft, and especially at the bottom. They're so defined. Oh my gosh. I love this and I'm definitely going to be using these products more often. And yeah, I think this is going to be my new routine, guys. I feel like I'm a um, traditional Ethiopian dancer. Do I fit right in? Bitch, my neck. Did you hear that? Kra, 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 kra. Guess I don't have to go to the chiropractor. But oh, look at that. Look at that volume that gave me though. Okay, Ethiopia. Oh my gosh, I'm living. I could even do a half up, half down little look or whatever. Oh my gosh. I love this, you guys. Comment down below and just let me know what you guys think. And do not forget to give me a huge thumbs up. If you have the Lush near you, I definitely um, encourage you to go ahead and try it in their hair lab. If they have a hair lab or else just ask for samples and try the products out before you purchase them and just see how your scalp, how your skin and your hair reacts to it and if your hair likes it, you know what to do, cha-ching! And go ahead and subscribe, become part of my beautiful family here on YouTube and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye!